Hello, uh, I'm making this video today because, well, one, I love hermit crabs, because who doesn't? And then two, I, I'm sick of seeing people doing proper care for hermit crabs. It's not always people's fault. I feel like, if anything, uh, it's also partially the pet store's fault. I mean, come on now, obviously, if you're in the store and there's employees telling you, yeah, they're so easy, it's gonna happen, you know what I mean? And then, obviously, if someone gets a pet and they, someone tells you, like, hey, you're probably gonna have to spend, like this much more money to fix the cage they're not going to want to do it so i feel like if anything it's better to know before you actually purchase um so i guess today i'm gonna to be talking about why you should not get a hermit crab so many people get them but honestly i feel like it's so many less that sounded weird that really can have them or that really can have them and enjoy having them so for me i have four hermit crabs i have um they're all various sizes and um, two of them are originally from PetSmart. I got them off Craigslist, but the owners uh, got them from PetSmart, different occasions. Sorry. And then the other two, um, I adopted them from a website. I will try to link them below. They were really awesome. But yeah, um, so why shouldn't you get a hermit crab? Here's one of my crabs. This is my smallest crab, actually. His name is River. And uh, ignore the little piece of that on there it comes from here and sometimes they rip it off but usually during the night I, I pick it up but so this is river and so the first reason you should not get hermit crabs is well they have long lifespans a lot of people don't realize this but hermit crabs can easily live over a decade the oldest crab at the moment recorded in captivity is around 40 years old i believe his name is jonathan but uh, yeah, they have long lifespans, and so many of them live around a month, whether it be from the pet stores or just, like, those Florida gift shops. Again, that is terrible. And, again, people just don't realize this, and that's why they think they're great pets, at least to some people, because they have short lifespans. So, for whatever reason, you don't want your crab anymore. You don't have to worry about it because they'll pass away anyway. But, yeah, they have long lifespans. Reason number two, hermit crabs are expensive. Again, this ties back to why so many people like them. They believe that they're expensive when again this is not the case at all hermit crabs are actually quite expensive now this does not mean that you can find ways to save on building your crab habitat but again they are much more expensive than so many people realize and honestly for me on my cage alone i spent close to 500 bucks now again uh, honestly i probably could have saved and, uh, and some of the supplies in my cage are actually from the dollar store, just as that green container and in that little um, rings, I DIY'd it. But again, even though I did find ways to save on some things, honestly, I probably could have saved so much more. But I'm just trying to state the point that again, they are so much more than what people realize. So my next reason is overall care. Now this is my biggest crab, Kai. I'm not sure what he's doing, but he's actually quite large. You can't really see it, but he's a he fits and he takes on my whole hand um but they are so much difficult than people realize they are not easy obviously just with any pet once you have a routine set and you have like a cage set up it's so much easier but again they are not easy their diets are very complex just as a humans would be they have tons of food groups that need to be fulfilled of food requirements that need to be met for them to be happy and healthy and they require very deep substrate and they do molt as well and they can be gone up to months and you might think that they're dead and then all of a sudden they pop up so they're very difficult and then they need high humidity high heat uh, relatively high heat and again so many people don't provide this sometimes they'll provide the heat but not the humidity or they'll provide humidity low heat i've seen it all and again they're just not easy and then they need um they also need enrichment just like any other pet you can't just put them in a tank and put the food bowl and water bowl and expect it to be good like they don't they want more they need more if you want it to be healthy and then not only that uh, my last reason is honestly i just don't think they're good pets for kids or at least i don't think they're the good a good pet if you want them to be only for your kid Obviously, if you're helping out, that's different. But again, they molt. They can be gone for long periods of time. They are actually nocturnal. And they are more active at night. As for me, I'm a night owl. I am a student. I am up all, all sorts of hours doing things. So I get to see them all the time. And their cage is actually right next to my bed. So again, I can see them whenever I want. And But again, they really just don't fit the lifestyle for a kid. At least that's what I've noticed. They really shouldn't. Besides looking at them, I can see why a kid will like them. Because, I mean, they're really interesting to look at. But in reality, I feel like when you take all the components together, they're really not the best for kids. 
but again thank you so much for watching i am terrible at editing but i really just wanted to make a video and state a few points so yeah hopefully you learned something